Not a good idea. There's no way I'm letting him take all the glory. Let's do this the old-fashioned way. Come on, Baker, cover me! Shot. You just follow your captain's orders. You don't worry about him. I'm sure he'll be fine. Yeah, well, back home we had a great dog, and every Fourth of July he would counter eat my mom's good rug. I see where you're going with this. Fireworks. Part, I know where you're going with this. He made an awful mess when he pissed himself scared. Plenty of officers have lived long, healthy lives hiding out in foxholes. He's taken out. You know you're in charge, right, Sarge? I am fully aware of that, Private. We, uh, I'm not going to make it to the rendezvous tonight. You better go and tell the men to set up camp. We can make the rendezvous. And then what? If we see any action when we get there, we'll be too exhausted to do anything about it? No. No, we're, we're resting while we have the chance. We're going to see lots of fire no matter which course of action we take. The Germans are already broken through the line, Captain. We keep moving, at least they stay warm. What are you suggesting? Suggesting? Nothing. You're making the wrong decision. I say we keep moving. That way it'll keep their blood flowing. They keep their wits about them. I know these men, Captain. I've been with them a long time. I know what they can handle. Is that all? We stay on this hillside. We're sitting ducks, sir. We're the perfect target for enemy artillery. Not to mention any enemy aircraft that might happen to fly by. Now, I know you've been behind that desk for four years, sir, but begging your pardon for the sake of these men's lives, mine and yours, it's time for you to get your head out of your ass, sir. These men are counting on you to make the right decision. You, you better watch your tongue. I'm still your superior officer. In rank, not by deed. Point taken. Check it out. Take Abel and Baker with you.
going in. Sarge, use your head. Think about this. What, what the hell are you doing? I'm questioning our prisoners, Brendan. What the hell is he doing? He's got it under control. Shit, Sergeant, this one! You missed him! Look at the fuck! Shit! He's heading for the race! Get him, Sergeant! Flip her over! <laughs> Put your weapon away! Bring him in, we need him! You should know better than that, Sergeant. It's not smart. I heard you, Captain. Take him back. Let's get him in a secluded area. Carson, secure the area! Yes, sir! Uh, 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 enough, enough. enough. I need you to translate. Get your book out. I'm getting tired of your lack of cooperation here. I want you to tell us where your unit is. Er, Zeyland Zamir Vo Era Einheit Ist. It's easy, easy. Just stop. Abel! Hey, get up here. Just... I want you to talk to this prisoner. Sometimes we just get a Jesus out of the form. Yeah. Just talk to him. Easy, 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 easy. It's gonna be alright. Enough of this shit. Get out of here. Come here. I give you one more chance. I've got one word for you, Kraut. One word. Get him off of there. Where's your unit? Sir! Sir! No, 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 Where's no, your no, unit? No, 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 not let you do this. Captain Jackson, get out of my way. Stand down, Sergeant, stand down. We'll get the information we need from this prisoner. Stand down. Private Abel, you question this man. And if we don't get what we need, I am going to blow his brains all over this Christmas snow. No problem, Sarge. No problem. Captain, sir. Captain. Look. Why don't you just tell us what we need to know? Let me see that map, sir. I think you led us in a circle. You sure? You know, you know I was born and bred West Point? You believe that? My, my father was a, a general way back when. When the, uh, when the fighting started, my mother, she, she did the best she could to keep me off the front lines. So, I ended up with a nice and easy desk job. In Army intelligence. I can't do this. I can't. I'm not cut out for this stuff. My mother, she knew best. My father thought she was crazy, but I'm not meant to be out here. Like I said, Captain, we're back where we started from.
He's losing this, sir. Pressure's getting to him. I know. I know. Well, he's not meant for the line, sir. Do you feel that we're in danger when Captain Jackson is leading the troops? Do I feel that we're in danger? When we're walking around out here in the middle of nowhere? You're goddamn right I do. Well, do you know the protocol? Not exactly. Do you? No, I can't say I do. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Captain, wake up, Captain. What is it? Wake up. The prisoners escaped. You grab your gun. What? How? Don't ask me. Ask Baker. Mm -hmm. Let's go get this guy. Gone too far. I'm sorry, sorry. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I don't know how he got away, but he did. I don't know what he did, but he did. And and what? Spit it out, Private. I fell asleep. I was tired. We've been walking around out here for the past couple of days, out in the middle of nowhere, walking by some of the same trees, I might add, and I fell asleep. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right. Probably made a few mistakes. Hey, Abel? Yes, sir. Prisoners escaped. Come on, Hugh. And Baker, head off this way. Me and Sarge, we'll go up this way. We'll be back here in 15. You sure about that guy? You heard the man, Private. Let's go find this guy. Where should we go? You'll be well rewarded for your silence, Private. I promise you that. What happened? The captain went in without backup, and the prisoner got his gun took him out. Baker. Baker! That's how it happened, isn't it, Baker? Is that how it happened, Private? Is that how it happened, Private? It happened just as the sergeant said.
sir. I appreciate your respect, but I, I forfeited my rank to fight with you and your unit. Now, I was a sergeant in the Black Army, but that was a long time ago, sir. I gave up my rank to fight for the common cause. It was my choice. It's understood. Sergeant. Sir, the man don't see it as you do, sir. Now, should something happen to you along the way and you should fall, they are going to follow their given rank leader, not me. God, you're a natural leader. When the time is right, you'll earn your rank once again. When the time is right, these men, they won't question your lead. Move him out, Baker. How do you plan on explaining this back to division? Quite simply, Private, exactly the way that it happened. The prisoner escaped, Captain Jackson went in after him without backup, and he paid the price. My gut tells me differently. You weren't there to see it differently. I, I just don't get you, Sarge. The prisoner escaped. Jackson went after him. You expect me to believe that? Two weeks ago, the man couldn't navigate himself out of a foxhole. The entire unit could attest to that. How in the hell could he track a POW through the woods? It could happen to any one of us. But it didn't happen to any of us. It happened to our captain. You said it yourself. He's battle incompetent. Isn't that what you said? Well, the battle got the best of him. And you're a reckless, murderous son of a bitch. And that will get the best of you. Fall in line, soldier. <laughs> Yes, sir, boss. I's got your back. <laughs>